I wanted to perform. It's called Indian Tattoos. Um, clap if you like kissing. <laughs> so do I. So this will be great. This is going to go awesome. This is perfect. The perfect poem. Have you ever wanted something so badly that you can feel it underneath your skin, warming your every movement towards that thing, that dream, that someone? That's what got me here. I want to do this. I want to stand up here and say things, words, inspiring ones. I'm nervous. Like a zebra running from a lion on the Discovery Channel, I am nervous. <laughs> not because of all these people, no, not entirely. I'm in fear of standing up here and seeing you. Point blank with a bullseye on my chest, you. Because I know the moment you make contact with my mind, an explosion will destroy all the words I had planned. All the thoughts I delicately laced in poised with small wooden tinker toys will just be gone. Like a canvas before it's stretched over its bones, my mind will go limp and simply you will be all that remains. All my words will come out in a sigh of who you are. You don't deserve this autopsy, but I've never been one for grace, so while I use my words to string your insides from the rafters, I'll be delicate with your heart, because I understand it no longer belongs to me. You may deny that I've ever had it in my grasp, but after this display, I think you'll see I juggled it in my time or in our time. We always sought knowledge, you and I, even when we were too far gone to make sense. My mind, my memory dances on the way you mix my drink with a fork, pushing all of the ice to the bottom and back up again. I was never one for losing, but you always beat me at pool. You took me everywhere with you and let my head rest on your heart when it got weary. You gave me rides in your car and pushed me to succeed. Your hair was long and it tangled at the end sometimes, and flirted with my cheek when you'd get stoned and rest your head on my shoulder and fiddle with the handheld distraction. I brought you here, I guess, to tell you I should have kissed you at that perfect moment, but I didn't. I'm always doing that, second guessing myself and dreaming too much. You've been a far away thought for far too long now. I'm making up excuses just to think about you. But maybe we all do it, have regrets, Maybe this is the inspiring part, where I tell you next chance you get, run to that person and just lay one on them. Don't walk, run. Run towards the uncertainty, the fear, the unknowing, and give it a big, wet, open mouth, tongue swirling, I always want to do this kind of kiss, right? On the smile. Because regret is only cured with second chances, and we only get second chances when we make them for ourselves. So when I step down from this poetic platform, I will slowly walk to you, hopefully with an applause at my back, draining all the fingers, draining all the feeling from my fingertips just to keep my feet in motion, timing my breath with the rattling in my knees. You'll make eye contact with me, changing plan A of a sneak attack to plan B, uh, a hesitant smile. And when my body is finally next to yours, all sewn up in you, we'll hug. And I'll thank you for coming out tonight. And just before we lose ourselves in that small chit chat we were never good at faking, I will kiss you. I swear to God I will kiss you like I've never kissed anybody in my life. Angels will descend and throw cat calls at the way I press my lips against yours. The room will flood with music out of nowhere and it will begin to rain. A trick you'll wonder how I pulled off considering we're indoors. Your eyes will widen in surprise, but slowly fall victim to the moment. When I pull away from our locked lips and through tangled past feelings, I'll smile, and after we share a moment of eye contact that seems to say more than we could ever know as a human race, I will be gracious enough to step past you and shake the hand of your slightly disgruntled fiancé and thank him for coming out tonight, too. <laughs>